Hi friends, welcome to Engineering Factory. In this video, let us look into the tool Label. Do not skip and watch the full video. As explained in the last video, create a new project for exploring this Label tool. So as you see by default, all of these files are created. Now click on Forms. Let's start designing our UI on this QT Designer. Look for the Label tool on the left hand side toolbar. We can see the label tool under the display widgets. Now drag and drop the label tool. On any forms or e-applications, usually we see labels like name, institution or please enter your name or something like this. All of these can be created using this label tool. All the properties of the selected label tool will be visible or displayed on your right hand side. See here, the geometry of the label on your designer is shown here. The labels length, width, height are displayed. You can edit these properties as per your requirement. Also here is a font style. The style and size of the wordings you type as your label name can be modified here. Select the styles and sizes as you wish and click on OK. So whatever your changes you have made will be reflecting on the text which is on your selected, I mean which is on your label. To modify the text, you can also modify the text on your label. So to modify it, look for the text option on your queue label and edit it as required. As you type in, your label gets updated on the designer. In case if you want to change the text color or its background color, go to the style sheet option under queue label. So click on the box with three dots on it. So you see different options, four different options like add resource, add gradient, add color and add font, right? So all of these options serve different purposes. To change the text color, click on add color. We could see different options like to change the text color or background color or the border color and etc. To change the text color, click on color option and choose the color you want click on ok now that the color has been taken on your panel and now click on ok so once you click on ok the color is applied the selected color is applied to your text now let's build it and see how it looks on the ui panel okay so click on build tool click on save all and check the progress on the right hand side bottom corner once the processing is complete click on run tool or press ctrl r See, this is what we created and this is our output. Since we have used only label, the modified text is displayed on the output UI panel. Now, let's try to change the background color of this label. Once again, click on the style sheet on the properties window on your right. Click on add color, background color and choose whatever color you want. I mean, based on your high intensity or low intensity, choose the color whatever you want and click OK. Now the color details are added to the window, click OK. See here, the selected background color is applied to our label. We can also change the total forms color. So select the form on the whole and click on style sheet. So same as before, add color, click on background color, select the color you want and click on OK. The color is applied to the panel, click OK. Our changes are reflecting on the output. Now build these changes to see the output panel. And run it. So our changes are reflecting on the output. Both the forms color as well as the labels background color are modified. You can add as many labels as you want and modify their colors. You can try out all the add color options and see how they differ or how they work. In the upcoming videos, I will explain you how to modify the label color and other properties during runtime. If you like this video, share this video to your friends. For more such videos, subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.